guys welcome to our third theory of computation tutorial so today we'll be continuing with deterministic finite automata so let's get started first thing what are we going to learn today uh, let's start with the list of the topics all right so first i think we have done introduction to dfa so we know what is basically a dfa now we'll look at some of the examples of construction of a dfa okay so we'll be constructing different different types of dfa so let's do a quick revision of what is dfa dfa also known as deterministic finite automata consists of five things okay what are those five things first we have a finite number of states called are represented with capital q then we have a finite set of inputs represented with sigma then there is a transition function we represent it using del then we have a start state which is one of the states in q and we represent it using q0 and finally we have a final state okay which is either it can be one or more than one number of states and we represent it using capital f all right now let's look at some examples of dfa so let's say we want to construct a dfa for a language l1 which is a set of all strings starting with one over the alphabet 0 comma 1 okay so let's see what we have got over here first so let's start with the solution so what is the thing that is given to us first we are given an alphabet so sigma equal to 0 comma 1 and what is the condition that l1 consists all strings starting with one so what are some examples of string starting with one over this alphabet zero comma one we can have one one zero one 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 zero zero one zero one 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 zero one 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 and so on okay so this is an infinite language understand that this is an infinite language okay so now we know what kind of strings it it can accept and what kind of string it shouldn't accept so what strings it shouldn't accept any string that doesn't start with one so for example zero zero one zero zero this type of strings it shouldn't accept okay all right so let's see so first we'll have a starting state and this is a starting state let's call it a and to represent it as a starting state we have to point an arrow towards it incoming arrow okay now if we get one then only it is going to go to a next state called b okay so let's take the input as one and let's take it to our new state let's call it b okay now can this be a string that this language should accept the answer is yes because we have seen over here a string starting with one okay so anything that starts with one is accepted in this language okay so what we'll do is we'll make this a final state now okay and uh, anything after this is also fine so for example if we get one or zero anything is okay over here as long as we are starting with one and it is reaching the final state okay but what if we start with zero then what happens so let's say if we get zero in the beginning over here hmm? so we'll take it to a trap state and let's call it state c okay so mind you this is not a final state so and it can't go back to anywhere else hence it's called a trap state so even if you get an input of one comma zero it is going to still stay trapped over here in the state c it is not going to go to any final state okay so now let's see if this is a correct dfa or not so let's say we want to accept this string uh, 101 okay so yeah we come to first state a we get an input 1 we go to state b after that we get an input 0 we are still in state b we get an input 1 we are still in state b are we in final state yes we are in final state okay so this string is accepted now what about we get this string 0 1 so we start over here and we get a 0 now we go to state c okay then we get a one we are in state c but are we in a final state no we are not in a final state so this is not accepted okay this string is not accepted by this dfa all right so this is the correct dfa for this language l1 okay yeah now let's construct another dfa over here and that accepts all the strings of length three over zero comma one so what are we given over here let's start with the solution okay yeah so we are given an alphabet sigma equal to 0 comma 1 and what is the language 
language l1 let's call it l1 accepts all the strings all strings of length 3 okay so what kind of strings will be accepted over here so let's say 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 one zero zero one zero one one zero one 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 okay so these are the strings that will be accepted by this dfa or this language okay now what kind of strings this will reject it will reject zero 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 or zero one zero zero so any string that is of not of length three okay they will be rejected okay so let's start with the construction let's go to our starting state let's create a starting state called a okay and this is our starting state we'll point an arrow to it now we want all the strings of length 3 to be accepted so let's say we get anything input because no other specification is given that it should start with 0 or it should start with 1 so anything input comes 0 or 1 we'll move to the next state and that next rate is b after that again any input is fine with us let it be 0 or let it be 1 we'll be going to next state uh, let's call it state c after that again any input 0 comma 1 is okay with us so we'll go to state d now this is what we want any string of length 3 1 2 and 3 correct now we'll make this d as the final state okay now what happens what happens if we get more strings over here what we are going to do then we are going to take those states or those input to a trap state like we had seen okay so let it be 0 or it can be 1 we'll take it to something called as a trap state and let's call it t okay and trap state means any input you get over here you are not reaching any final state so let it be 0 or let it be 1 okay now let's see which strings this dfa is accepting okay so let's say 0 0 0 so we start with the starting state a we get a 0 we go to state b again we get a 0 we go to state c again we get a 0 we go to state d are you in a final state the answer is yes so this state is accepted what about 1 1 0 so you get a 1 over here you go to state b you get a 1 over here in state b you go to state c you get a 1 over here you go to state d are you in a final state yes so this string is also accepted okay now what about this 0 0 0 0 let's try this or 0 1 0 0 let's try this string okay so we get a 0 over here in the first state okay we go to next state b then we get a 1 okay so we go to next state c okay then we get a zero we go to next state d okay now we get another zero okay over here so we get a zero over here and we go to state t now are we in a final state no we are not in a final state so this type of string is not accepted or let it be string like zero zero over here okay we get a zero we go to state b we get another zero we go to state c are we in a final state no so if you are not in a final state that string is not accepted okay i hope you got this concept all right now we'll be looking at an example to construct a dfa that accepts any string that does not contain string a a b b in it over the alphabets a comma b okay so what are we given first we are given an alphabet alphabet a comma b okay now we have to construct a dfa that does not contain a b b in it that is the string a b unit what we'll do is first we'll construct a dfa that contains the string a b b and then we'll flip it okay you'll understand what i'm saying so first let's construct a dfa that accepts all the string that contain a b b okay it is a very simple thing so let's say we have got a starting state over here let's construct this starting state and let's call it state p okay this is a starting state now after that if we get an input of a what are we going to do we are going to go to state q okay so state q and if you get an input of a again you are going to go to state r uh, yeah input a 
you get another input of B over here. You're going to go to state S and you get input of B again. You're going to get, go to state T. Okay. So this is the basic idea of accepting the strings A, A, B, B. Okay. Now what happens if we get of input B over here? We are going to keep it over here in the loop itself. Why? Because it can accept a string like B, A, A, B, B, right? So we'll loop it back to P itself. What about Q? You get an input of B over here. What are you going to do? You get an input of B, you are going to point it back to P. Why? Because it can accept a string like A, B, A, A, B, B, right? So this kind of string can also be accepted because it contains A, B, B in it. Okay? A, A, B, B. We want it to accept all the string that contains A, B, B for now. Okay? Now what about R? You get an A over here. Because if you get a B, you are going to state S. What happens if you get an A? If you get an A, what you can do is, you can still stay in state R, right? Why? Because see, if the string is like this, A, 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 B, B. What happens after that? A, 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 B, B. It still contains A, B, B in it, right? So, we can still accept that state or that string. Okay. What about S? What happens over here? So, let's say we have got A, A, B. What after that? If we get a B, we go to state T. But if we get something like um, A over here, okay? If we get A over here, what are we going to do? Then we are going to go back. We have to go back over here. And it's going to be, for example, let's say A, A, B, A, A, B, B. Okay, so it can accept strings like A, a, B, A, A, B, B. Correct? It still contains A, B, B. Okay? Now, what about T? What happens over here? So, anything after this, let's make it a final state first. So, state T is final state. Okay? So, anything after this is okay with it. Because, guess what? A, comma, B. We already have got our A, A, B, B accepted, right? So anything after that is fine with us. Okay. So this is how we construct a DFA that accepts all the string. Okay. Now let's just confirm that we have checked it for all conditions over here. So for P, we have got A and B inputs we have checked. Correct. For Q, A and B, again, we have given both the states. And for R also, we have given for A and B. For S also, if we get an A, we go to Q. If you get a B, we go to state T. And for T, if you get an input A or B, it will still stay in the final state. Okay. So it can accept strings like A, A, B, B, A, B. It can still accept because it still contains A, B, B in it. Correct. So now we have got a DFA that accepts all the strings of uh, that contain A, B, B in it. But now we want to construct a DFA. What is the original question? To construct a DFA that accepts the strings that does not contain string A, B, B in it. So what we are going to do is we are going to flip it. The term for this is flip. So what is flipping it? Basically, we'll convert all the non-final states like P, Q, R, S into final states and all the final states into non-final states like T into not a final state. Okay. So let's just copy this entire DFA down over here and flip it. So we have got P, Q, R, S and T. Okay, and uh, P is a non-final state, so let's make it a final state. Okay, then Q is also not a final state, R is also not a final state, S is also not a final state, and T was a final state. Now we'll convert these non-final states into final states. Okay, so P, Q, R, S. And T was a final state. So let's convert it into non-final state. Okay. Now just copy the entire thing over here. So this is the first input state. You get an A. You go to state Q. You get a B. You stay in P. Okay. In Q, if you get an A, you go to state R. Okay. Let's change the color. Yeah. And you get a B. You go to state P. 
in R you get a B you go to state S you get an A you still stay in state A and uh, for S you get a B you go to state T but you get an A you go to state Q okay and for T you get input A or B you are still in state T now let's see what kind of strings this DFA accepts so you want to construct a DFA that does that accepts all the string that does not contain a b b. So let's see if it accepts a a b b. Okay. So first you get an a in p state. You go to state q. Then you get another a. You go to state r. You get another b over here. You go to state s. And you get another b over here. You go to state t. Okay. Now will it be accepted? No, because t is not a final state. Okay. So what about Mm, let's say a b a b let's say you are in state a now uh, p now you get a you go to state q you get a b you go to state p again okay then you get a you go to state q you get a b you go to state p are you in a final state the answer is yes so this string is accepted so this dfa accepts all the strings that does not contain a a b b in it okay so this was the example for our third dfa i hope you got the concept so if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you